Hey, what's up, everybody? It's DJ Mac, and something I want to address to specifically DJs, and uh, this is super, super, super important. Um, obviously, always have a backup of your music, and this particular video just talks about how to make backing up your music easier and less stressful. Because I just saw this program uh, about a week ago. Um, no jokes after that comment, because <laughs> we all know the song, anyways. Um, but literally. It, it just saved my life in terms of just backing up music. Um, so I just stress that right now, if you haven't uh, got a backup of your music, like just pause this video and just go to your latest, you know, your nearest, uh, you know, computer store and just get like, you know, your four or two terabyte hard drive that's trustworthy and just back it up. You know, at least make two backups so that way you can just um, sleep good at night, you know, so. Again, this video is uh, to deal with um, consistently backing up your stuff and uh, making it a lot faster and easier to do. So um, once you have made your backup, because I, again, I can't stress enough to make a backup because I have lost data and it's been like the worst. So please back up your music. So once you've backed up your music and um, you know, you're know you in a situation, I'm going to paint the picture here. You've done tons and tons of recon on new music. You've updated, you know. Um, on new music and um, you're like oh yeah uh, months later has passed by and you gotta do an update of uh, all the recent songs that you've got so first thing you want to do is um, download this program it's called drop sync 3 okay I'm gonna open up now and uh, fairly simple to use um, I'm gonna actually run through this very easy. So up here, where it says, where it says Drop Sync 3, you're going to go over to where it says Folder Pairs, click on New, and then uh, you're going to name, it's pretty much like naming your project, um, like naming uh, how we're going to transfer one file to the next. So it's just like just naming a project, pretty much. Uh, you name it whatever you want. You can name it like, you know, um, new to old, whatever you want to um, call it. You're going to see Finder here, leave it checked. Uh, don't bother that. And then just click finish. I'm gonna hit cancel because I've already made a project already. I'm gonna show you that, and this is my project here. And I literally just called it, you know, um, old hard drive to backup hard drive. All right. So that this is my project here. So all I really did um, was just uh, go over here to the bottom here, and um, you're gonna click on import. All right. This the little arrow there is called import, and you're gonna find the actual hard drive uh, where you want to import stuff, right? Um, so the Lacey is actually my old hard, my uh, current hard drive that I'm using. So I click on there, and you can literally just hit open, and you know your entire hard drive um, will be ready to copy over. So you hit cancel, because um, I've already had it set up here. So this is all my music here that I have. It's my folder that has all my music. And down here, you're going to see where it says Root Path, Volumes, Lacey, All My Music, right? That that just shows me that that's the root path. That's where everything is being copied from. So if you ever need to be insured, like, yeah, this is where exactly where my song is being copied from. That is right here, black and white. There it is, okay? Next thing you want to do is go over here on the right side, and pretty much you do the same thing. And you're going to find the same um, uh, folder in your in the hard drive that needs to get updated and then you just click that right I uh, just click all my music I'm gonna hit cancel because I already had it set up here and that's it it's just gonna show you all these things um, doesn't take long at all it just instantly pops up and then um, then you hit this right arrow now I'm gonna hit the right arrow and it's gonna say that everything is updated um, but actually before I do that just make sure you know you can actually check all these folders right to transfer over. Now you notice once I checked um, this top one, it checked all of them, and it checked all these here because it's showing that these they are, have the same exact name. Okay. Now if you need to create a new folder, you just create a new folder. You know you can create it just um, you know on your brand new uh, the hard drive that needs to get updated. Just you know if you're like oh a new genre of music just came out and you and it's on you know this folder here. So you literally can just like drag it over and simply do it that way, whichever way you want to do it. But as long as you have the direct copy of one folder that's in the uh, 
updated one to the, the old one that needs to get updated, then you're fine. But uh, this helps when you have like multiple folders and you want to just update like specifically, you know, like 90s, 50s, you know, all these different type of genres. You know, you want to just uh, make sure you specifically have updated versions of those into the new file or into the new hard drive. Now, once that's done, like I said, I can just literally click like uh, my 50s folder and let's see if I have my updated versions of the stuff in my 70s folder. And you click this right arrow. Make sure to click this right arrow, which is going to preview sync. It's going to see, it's going to first of all see if anything's different, if there's like a change. That's what it's really looking for. And once it sees that there's a change in there, it's going to let you know, and it's going to ask you, do you want to proceed? Do you want to um, bring those, copy those fo those files and folders over to the new uh, the new hard drive that you want to update? Just like this, you're going to see, boom. All right, right now it's going to say sync would not sync uh, would result in no changes because everything's updated. If it was brand new and there was new new files in there, it would just say. You know, these are the files that need to get updated, and they will just start to populate uh, down here. And as you can see, everything you can do a spot check, everything in my 70s folder, literally from, you know, this is from my backup um, hard drive, and this is from my current hard drive. Everything is exactly, literally, exactly the same thing. Um, they all work fine, um, but yeah. I suggest this to like all DJs like stop what you're doing right now back up your music and um, you know if you have songs that are just um, you know all brand new and you haven't updated yet this is like the fastest and easiest way um, to do it um, also another thing is uh, you know just make sure you you know you have an extra backup hard drive um, and update that one as well I also have like 30,000, definitely over 30,000 songs, and um, it took, let's say, less than 10 minutes to update all of that. So there's just no excuse. Like literally, you just download this um, this app, DropSync 3. I believe you can get it in, in the, uh, you can just go online really and just find it anywhere. It's, it's pretty accessible, and I'm pretty sure it's in the App Store. So it's not something that you can't really find. So uh, drop sync three. I'll be sure to put a link in the description where to get it. But it is a game changer. So if you're a DJ, you definitely want this app. I can't stress that enough. I've talked to many DJs where like they have to like, you know, empty all their trash and empty the, the entire hard drive just to throw in new stuff. It's like that's ridiculous. That's you know you have stuff to do. This will take care of it within like minutes you know what I mean like definitely like less than 10 minutes it, it took me for like about 30,000 files or or more but yeah it, it definitely saves a lot of time so this has been DJ Mac if you have any questions let me know if things aren't working the way that you know you want them to work um, just let me know uh, if anything you can always you know rewind the video and just um, you know figure out pieces that um, that you may have missed so it's DJ Mac, and I'm out of here because I got a gig to get ready for. Peace.